Now obviously this is looking a bit dull, you don't want the basic Twitter screen, so the first thing you want to do is go to your settings and you can put more information in, so I'm going to put my time zone which is GMT where are you GMT? There's GMT V. GMT. <laughs> There's GMT. GMT London. I'm not actually in London, but it'll it's close enough. Uh, more info URL. So do you have a home page or a blog? If you do, then type it in. One line bio. So write something about yourself. Something that will make people interested in following you. If for example you're on here and the main thing is to keep in touch with your customers or to find new customers then write something engaging. Don't make it a sales pitch. Just write something that makes people want to know you as the person. So give me a moment and I'll think of something. Okay, I've written something. Um, you'll see it in a moment anyway, but it's tough when you've only got 160 characters. And if you're anything like me, you just want to keep writing. So uh, try and come up with something engaging. You can always change it at a later date. Put where you are. Some people put a, a definite location. Some people put something a little bit more obscure. It depends whether you want people to know your exact location or not. Now this protect my updates thing. I suppose if you're using Twitter um, just amongst family and friends and you really actually you just want to keep it to that and you don't want anybody to be able to follow you or everybody to be able to follow you then click protect my updates. Um, I do know somebody who protects her updates because she works for a particular business where she doesn't necessarily want everybody to then discover what she is, you know, her wicked side, so to speak. You know, there's something she wants to be kept amongst her friends. So that may be one reason you protect your updates. You may work for a big company who would get a bit funny if you started telling everybody on Twitter exactly what you're up to. You may work for MI5 or is it MI6? Can't remember. And uh, be start telling everybody about the terrorist you're tracking at the moment. But generally, most people don't protect their updates because, particularly if you're using them to promote yourself or your business uh, to engage people in that sense, you don't want to make it harder for them to follow what you're doing. But if you do put protect my updates, you have to simply approve people who want to follow you. So you can select which ones follow you and which don't. So I'm not going to protect my updates. I'm going to click save. And finally for this video, I'm just going to show you how to add a picture and change your design. Let's do design first. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about these things because you can change your background image and upload one of your own. You can change your design colors. So if I was to click change background image, browse for an image I want to use and you can do it that way. If you click change design colors, you can change the actual colors of your page. Um, if you don't understand what the different colors are, then just do a search online for color palettes and it will give you these details. Uh, usually you'll find the details there, but I'm just going to pick one of the general ones, quite like that one. So let's click that one. Let's save the changes there. So my background has now changed. And I think it's important to change these things, particularly your picture, because people are more likely to follow you back or engage with you if they have a picture. Uh, I think without a picture it can A sometimes be seen as oh, is this some is this just a spammer? Is this somebody looking to follow me? So I follow them and then they can just you know put loads of sales messages up. But also it works better if people can see your face they're going to engage with you more. So let's pick our picture click browse and this will take you into your documents you need to find a picture of yourself that you like 
or at least one you kind of like. Let me see if I've got one in here. Uh, this is my secret women's business network of pictures. So, oh look, it's Ed Dale. If I got one of me in here, I did pass on not what I want to use. I do suggest if you can to use an actual picture of you because I will find one simply because let's go in here it's nice to see the face even if you don't like your face everybody else likes to see nice friendly face they don't see the flaws that you see in yourself so let's click save on that one right that's saved it's enough I go to home on Twitter you can see that my picture is on my first m message is on there my first tweet that means I've made one update and if I go to profile you'll see what everybody else sees when they click on your profile so my name where I'm from my website and the little bio that I wrote about myself that's it for this video I shall teach you a few more basics of Twitter in the next video.